Well, gospel reading for today is scandalous. But the question that Jesus asked is reminiscent to me of that great Bo Diddley song, popularized again by the great musician and poet from the 1960s, Jim Morrison. Who do you love? Who do you love? told in the Ten Commandments right out of the box, I am the Lord your God, have no other God before me. Now, the whole commandment actually goes on for six whole verses. This should signify just how important this single commandment is. I mean, keeping the Sabbath holy is four verses, and all the other commandments are a single verse. Now, there are verses, these numbers and verses and all that were added much later when they were written than when they were written originally, but God knew where things were going and he might have been making a point here. All of these are equally important. But remember, I am the one true God. He does not want food to be worshipped. He does not want treasures and property held higher than him. He wants us to love God before everything else. He's God. He brought us out of slavery on way so many occasions. So, we can look to the temptations in the desert, and God refutes each and every one of them by using a few lines of Torah. But it all comes down to one thing. Don't focus on worldly goods. Worry only about God. There's a pretty standard theme in Scripture. God's number one. Now, should we place our parents above God? Should we place our teachers above God? How about our kids? I think Jesus is answering this question, and we have to make the decision for our own selves. Even if we're only 22 and don't mind dying. Before we die, we better decide who it is that we love. So, do you want, do you want that 47 miles of barbed wire? Or do you want God? Which of those will be more comfortable for eternity? God is calling to be with us. Should we not at least acknowledge him? All he asks is to remember he is the Lord our God. Yes, that means we let him be in charge. Each and every day we choose things that we determine are best for us. And we usually don't even think to ask God his thoughts. We don't even think about all the gifts he gives us. How many meals do we have without even thanking him? So, now, there is no way Jesus is saying don't care about or respect or love your parents, your teachers, your loved ones. Just remember, God gave each of them to you. Who do you love? Who do you love? Be good. Play nice. Thank God. <laughs>